Hello everyone, my name is Mohsin Raza. Today I'm gonna show my project which I made in assembly language. So basically I uh, just want to give you a brief uh, overview of the project using this flow, uh, flow chart diagram. So basically the project was uh, actually a restaurant management system. So it has uh, two use users like customer and admin and uh, to access the restaurant management system as in customer or admin there is a login uh, switch there or a login uh, procedure there which allow us to identify whether a, whether a user login as uh, a customer or admin so uh, against both of them, uh, uh, customer and admin, there are some options related to each of them. Like if uh, if we sign as customer, then uh, the customer menu will show up to customer and buying and only view the data which is available on the uh, customer uh, restaurant management system. Likewise, admin has following uh, options and uh, the main purpose of the uh, main purpose of the admin is to uh, monitor the restaurant management system and uh, to modify the uh, data that is uh, in the restaurant management system. And after performing the respective activities, the user uh, then asks to continue to the restaurant management system or just quit the uh, program. Likewise, admin is also asked and to continue or to exit so implementation of this uh, restaurant management system was quite difficult uh, in assembly language uh, as compared to high level languages uh, so you uh, high level language because in high level language some uh, data uh, structures or containers are already there so there is no uh, you say uh, a real problem of making such a management system in that in there but in assembly language you have to make these containers and uh, function or overall functionality from scratch so now I show you the demo of my restaurant management system so now I run the uh, the, the file project file uh, you can see that it come to an home page so basically uh, the, this is the home page for the project and uh, it has uh, sign in as admin option sign in as customer option and quit the program option so it's asking me for choose to choose an option so I first sign in as customer now the program is asking me from for my name so I enter my name in here now when I sign in as customer and after asking my name then after entering it greets me like this welcome Mohsin and then the menus show up in which the which menu and uh, menu of uh, items there and their respective quantities and cost are there so enter the phone number so it's asking to enter a phone number so basically uh, it is on index one two and three likewise so if I enter, if I enter one so now now it is asking me about uh, now it's asking me about the quantity so I selected the coke by pressing 1 now I entered the quantity for that so I will enter, I enter 2 you see that uh, after, after I selected the quantity then another prompt comes in and says that the item selected was coke quantity was 2 and item cost with quantity was 8 and the total price uh, was eight dollar. So if I and the another prompt comes and says that press one to buy more. 
or press uh, any other key to log out to the main menu so i press come to again uh, by something do you see that the quantity of the coke drops from 3 to 2 because i bought 2 now if i again bought uh, if i bought cake instead of now instead now and enter the quantity about 6 you see that uh, the con uh, the item selected was cake quantity was 6 and for this particular item the cost with res with along with the quantity is 48 where total price is 56 it's because total price is maintained uh, of previous and the new one which i bought so if i go again to the me menu you see that a uh, cake becomes the quantity cake quantity becomes zero so if i press two again here why so basically it threw up an error which says that uh, the cake was sold out please tell admin to enter most of, of this product so here you can see the importance of admin in this restaurant management system so i will simply press zero to log out but uh, while logging off um, it's basically uh, shows and prompt uh, in which it thanks the customer and shows the buying summary of of what uh, the person has bought so i bought two cokes of uh, of eight dollars and cake bought cake uh, of six uh, quantity a uh, total cost was 48 now the total price for these two becomes 56 if and uh, now i goes to the uh, main menu or you say that uh, uh, my main home page so now what i gonna do is i log in as admin now i comes into admin control so in admin control what i can see that the stock status enter a new item in the menu or and edit the quantity of the item so first we start from view the stock status so press one so view stock status basically tells me about the uh, different uh, uh, items there in the in the in the in the menu with uh, quantities and uh, each of the uh, with res their respective cost so i press one to again go to the admin panel on zero to log out so i press one to come back to the admin panel now what i gonna do now is that uh, before entering a new item i just added the quantity of the coke because it uh, quantity of the cake because it becomes zero so i press three so cake was become zero because it was sold out so i select uh, two here mm, cost it now asking me to enter a cost for this item so i press eight i do not want to change the cost so that's why and enter a quantity so i want to increase the quantity let it be 15 so you can see that the cake quantity has been upgraded and it is now 15 likewise we can also change the quantity of coke and rice also now going back to the uh, going back to our uh, main menu of the admin control i press one so uh, we have i want to add a new item so i press two so uh, basically this uh, uh, insert item is basically i define some special syntax which i define in the assembly language to add a particular item to the menu list so like i do four point uh, the item would be like fish i'm adding fish and and at, at the end of the string I just uh, explanation mark and then space space uh, 
percentage so and so this is the syntax which i define to enter uh, a new uh, item in the menu so i press enter now what i gonna do now is enter a cost for this new item so it will be like seven dollar and quantity will be i guess four so you can see that uh, when i enter a new item so it come into the stock view so if i uh, press one again and I, by pressing four i can log out from this uh, this control panel so if i press four here and log out from the uh, control panel of the app now if i go back to the customer so then we sign in uh, as a customer so the name was same enter my name and enter my name and you can see that uh, the menu has been upgraded to new values like uh, before uh, cake was zero uh, because we bought uh, all the cake and the quantity was become zero now it's uh, by using admin control panel we have increased the quantity to uh, 15 and we also added a new item into the menu which is fish uh, and whose, uh, whose quantity is four and uh, the cost is seven so that was and you can purchase uh, uh, from here again and uh, you can the quantity decreases uh, from the customer perspective and he's he, he can't able to buy the that particular item from the menu so we go back to the admin and we increase the uh, quantity so and we also uh, if some items are missing in the menu we can add from the admin uh, panel so this was all about my uh, project project and which was basically the restaurant management system so if we come to see some uh, come uh, if we uh, if we come to see some code which uh, of assembly language so you can see that there are a lot of uh, things which I done from scratch and uh, a lot of variables which are defined and um, a lot of prompts you see there a lot of variables a lot of buffers there a different sizes uh, a lot of account count variables are there and then uh, I actually make uh, four procedures uh, so main, uh, main procedure was log basically from log procedure I am transitioning uh, you see that I am moving from uh, I'm moving to admin control panel and from uh, uh, the log I am also moving to the customer uh, customer uh, menu and uh, then there are customer procedure where which is also uh, which is uh, dealing with all the customer related options then there is a customer a customer uh, menu customer means that uh, uh, this is uh, a procedure we're dealing with the menu of the customer then there is another procedure which is called as admin which is uh, I guess below this yes this, this is the admin procedure which was on which is uh, you can see that dealing with the admin there is an admin menu which deals with the menus you can see on the uh, uh, admin portal so it deals with all the functionality related to that uh, particular uh, panel and okay that was all about my project and please like subscribe my channel because i'm going to share some courses related to the assembly and also other languages so take care goodbye